My wife will occasionally pick up items at the big box store, like this one. It's a chalk design little print, then you hang it on the wall, and it looks great. So whenever she buys something like this, I immediately you know, tie her to the chair and interrogate her about her purchasing decision. And I'm usually picking her brain about why she bought it. Is it trending? Is there lots of other those, you know, t those types of items? And so, you know, it's no secret chalk designs are trendy and they're very popular. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to make a chalk design. It's easy and it's completely free using public domain images and your artistic talents. Let's go. How's it going everyone? I hope you're having a great day. And before we jump into the Photoshop tutorial, I just want to point out if you go into Etsy and if you look on chalk, if you search for chalk doodles, you're going to get a whole bunch of designs that come up and they're, you know, anywhere from three, four dollars up to maybe seven, eight, nine dollars. And what these are is they're like digital downloads right and so you can get you know a template from Etsy and then you can just add it to the basket and you can just you know sell it so these are like pretty popular so if you're selling on Redbubble and TeePublic you can just buy these and then you can create designs based on this stuff the other option is you can you know if you get pretty good at creating these chalk designs you can sell them on Etsy yourself so you can just you know make a bunch of designs group them together and then sell digital downloads on Etsy as well and these are really popular uh, you know you can see here there's a bunch of sales on this Etsy store and this is a digital download design this person just keeps selling the same design for five dollars and thirty cents so again I'm not I, I will never suggest that you just rip off somebody's shop and that you just copy all of their designs but what I am saying is if you if you are able to make these chalk outline designs, and I'm going to make, do a tutorial right now about how to do that, not only would you want to create designs that could sell on Redbubble and TeePublic, but take a look at Etsy because you can sell digital designs on there as well if that's what you're interested in doing. Here's another one, Christmas Clip Arts. And here's another one, just some simple chalk arrows. These are not easy to find for free. And so what I'm going to show you in this tutorial is how to make these yourself. And it's relatively easy. I want to point out before we jump into the tutorial, I'm a big fan of really, really easy Photoshop techniques. I hate 17 steps and multiple layers and click backslash this. And I have no time for that. So what I'm about to show you is super simple. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is go to a font website like dafont, dafont.com, and then type in something here in the search window like chalk, for example. This is going to bring back chalk fonts. Now, what you're going to do is just click on the little download button, and then you can download these, these fonts. This is probably my favorite font site. It's called 1001fonts.com. I typed into the search window chalk and it comes back with these. What I like about this as well is it gives you a little red price tag and that's for personal use or it gives you a little green tag and that's for commercial use. So if you're ever nervous about, you know, the police busting down your door or something about trademark and copyright, and if you're, you know, if you have the proper license, I really like 1001 fonts. They're very upfront about what you can use this stuff for. Lots of different fonts, and a lot of them are for, you know, personal or commercial use. So if you're looking for commercial, 1001 fonts is a good uh, website to start as well. Anyway, grab, say, three chalk fonts that are free for commercial use, and then download them, install them. It's really easy to do. You just click the little download button and then you save the zip file into a drive and then you just double click on the drive and it'll ask you to install. Downloading fonts is really easy and it's nothing to be worried about. When you download your fonts, just stick them in a folder. You just double click on the actual zip drive zip folder rather and then it pops up and it's got true type and then whatever you click on if you click on say eraser dust true type it will open up the actual screen and it shows you what it looks like and then you just click the install button now I've already installed these but it would just say install and then it would just say installed and that's it Okay, so now I'm in Photoshop. I've got an ancient old version of Photoshop, but if you're using a newer one, hey, it's even easier. I've got my new document created here. This is Redbubble is my 
template name. And then it's 6480 wide by 7632 tall. I click OK. And this is going to create for me my canvas now that we're going to work on. Now what I'm going to do next is I'm going to just uh, populate into this field a chalkboard background. You don't have to do this. You can just use a black background. So to do a black background, you've got these little color palettes over here on the left hand side. And I'm just going to use a little paint bucket. And then I'm just going to fill this square or rectangle with black. So you could use that. You can do any color, really. The other option is I'm going to go into File and Place. And I just picked off online. I've got a chalkboard design. And so I'm just going to populate that. Now I can just stretch it to fit. And I like the chalkboard design just because it's got some... Uh, like chalk dust on it. It's got some texture to it. Okay, so now we've got that set up. So now next up, we're going to use the fonts that we downloaded. So I'm going to use white. So I'm just making sure my main color palette is white. And I'm going to click on the little text tool, which is the little T. And then I'm just going to select my font from my list. So I've got a big list of fonts. I'm going to scroll on up to the E's because I'm going to be using eraser. That's one of the fonts that I downloaded. And now I'm just going to type into the little window here some sort of some sort of phrase. I'll just type in the word coffee. And then I'll just make it really large so we can see it. So if you're doing text designs in Photoshop and you want to do chalk text designs this is the like this is the easy part you download some free chalk fonts and then there you go okay so if, if all you're doing is text designs you're done okay class dismissed go forth and conquer what i'm going to show you next is how to make chalk images in addition to the text the text was the easy part If you're in a newer version of Photoshop, there's an entire brush section called Legacy Brushes. So I'm in Photoshop, an older version, and I'm going to click on this little brush tool. And you can go to like, you know, normally we're in like, say, assorted brushes or basic brushes. And the normal brush is like something like this, right? So you, you know, I'll just throw it up to 60 and just add in a new layer. And so normally when you're drawing, it's a very clean line. And so you don't want that because you're doing a chalk design. And so instead of a clean line, what we'll do instead is we're going to load in a brush. And the brush is going to be, for me, it's going to be under this dry media brushes. And I'd really encourage you to just, you know, poke around in the different brushes. There's some really funky ones in there. And the one that I'm looking for is brush number 63, which is like a chalk design. And then basically when I'm drawing, it looks like chalk, okay? So you can just make it larger or smaller. Now I wanna point out, if you make it really large or really small in the same design, the texture of it will be different, which that might be what you want, but just be aware, like these larger strokes look different than the smaller strokes. It's like you're using two different pieces of chalk. But you can certainly, you know, make, you know, fuzzy lines underline things you know if you're looking for lines arrows you can certainly draw these right in photoshop relatively easily so if you're just doing text and arrows you're done again class dismissed get on out of here the next thing i'm going to show you how to do is how to draw an image and it, and especially if you're not an artist like if you can't draw i'm hoping what you're going to see now is going to hopefully be very helpful okay i'm just going to remove all my layers here and just go off of the chalkboard layer. So let's pretend that I want to draw an actual picture. Okay. So let's pretend I want to draw like say a coffee mug. Well, you can just draw the mug, but it can be really hard to draw the mug without any sort of frame of reference. So I'm going to give it a try. I'm like, okay, I'll just do like a circle and then I'll do like a cup and then there's a little handle and then there's like a saucer. And it's like, ugh, that looks pretty bad, right? So this is typically as far as we get. And then we kind of give up and we go, well, chalk designs are just too hard. Or maybe I'll just purchase some. But a ho, 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 not so fast. Let me add in an image. And in this case, I'm going to add in a free 
design that I just grabbed off of like an SVG site. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to actually zoom in quite a bit. So I can go like actual pixel size, for example. And I could just use my brush tool, create a new layer, and basically trace the existing design. Don't need to be out don't need to zoom in that much, but I could basically now say, okay, let's see if I can just draw over the design as it exists. It doesn't need to be exact, but you could just start tracing the image. And if you don't like it, then you could always just erase it and start over again. But the general idea, now I'm drawing with a mouse. So if you've got a stylus, like a little pen, obviously you're miles ahead. But the idea is if you go slow and if you zoom in and if you use the right size, you can create something that's going to look very similar to if you were somewhat of a decent artist. Like, you know, I'm not very good at drawing with a mouse, but you get the idea here. So I've actually created one that you can use. So here is, here's just an example of what it would look like. So I drew this before the video started, but you can see here, I drew this over top of the design. If I put the original design and I just stick it over top of it, you can see I just traced it. It was just the exact same design and I just, you know, traced the design. Now I wasn't, you know, exactly bang on, but that's okay. I was close enough that I don't really need the underlying design anymore. And I don't need to, you know, use that design, I can basically just go with this. So if I add some text in here, I just drew the sun myself and the moon and a couple stars just to kind of, you know, give it some flavor. But if you wanted to just do a simple coffee design, the trick is to trace over an existing piece of clip art using that chalk brush. I'm going to show you one more example here. And I'm just going to close out this file. And this is one, you know, from a timing perspective, like how long does it take you? This one took me about 45 minutes to draw. So look, this isn't like super easy wins, but what I did is I took a relatively complicated picture. In this case, I took clip art of the Eiffel Tower. I'm just gonna make it nice and big here. And so you can see there's lots of little nooks and crannies in this clip art design. So what I did is I just rasterized the layer I did image adjustments and inverted it. So I just made it white basically. And then I just used colored chalk. Now colored chalk is really easy to do. You just pick off of your color palette. So here's my color palette. You just pick something that's like almost white. So if you go to like red, for example, pick like something really close to white. Or if you pick green, pick something really close to white. So I'm going to show you exactly step by step how I did this. I've got the chalkboard layer, then I put the Eiffel Tower on, and then from there, I basically, for this one, this one took me about 45 minutes to draw. I basically zoomed right in to maximum amount, and then I started drawing with chalk. So essentially, I just picked a color like, let's say, you know, really light blue or something, and then I got my little brush out and then I just started, I'm just going to make this a bit smaller, maybe 50. And then I just started like drawing. So I just started like doing this. And it's kind of tedious and you can kind of like fill it in as you need to, but you just go through and you basically fill it in as you need to. So, you know, you can see I'm starting to fill it in and it's starting to look a bit chalky. What I wound up doing, I'll just show you, this is the end result. So I made this design. No, I just made the heart. I just loaded up a heart clip art as well and I just traced her over it. I'm a big fan of it, you know using a trace if you can, right? And when you remove the underlying clip art, you've basically got a chalk design that you could use in any you know product, coffee mug, t-shirt. You could put text on it if you wanted. So just as an example, I'll just use the, the vertical type tool and I'll just type in uh, the word, you know, Paris, for example. Whoops, there we go. And I'll just put this down on the side. So, you know, I'm not saying that I'm the greatest artist in the world by any stretch, but if, if this is the effect you're trying to get, 
then you know you can make you know so i made all this essentially myself i mean yes this is a clip art but i traced over it using a chalk brush the eiffel tower i've essentially drawn again tracing over an existing piece of public domain clip art and then the paris is essentially chalk font but if you're looking for like coffee menus some sort of you know funny post where you've got some chalk you know if you wanted to you do a cat like something relatively simple flowers you don't necessarily need to spend 45 minutes drawing the Eiffel Tower, but you can use this now. You don't even need to use a chalk background. Uh, I'll just remove the chalk background, for example, and I'll just put you know another another color underneath. Let's say we you know somebody really wanted red for an example. I don't know why, but you could throw that in there as well, and you can see now you've got chalk. You could put concrete instead of chalk board. You could use a concrete background. So there's lots of different options. So again, I hope you guys found that helpful. It's not. It's not uh, quick, but it's relatively simple. It's effectively getting a font and you know downloading a couple chalk fonts and then finding some sort of clip art and then you trace over the clip art using a chalk brush. Hope you guys found that helpful. Have a great day, guys.